There has been a surge in Chinese spy ship and warship activity in the Indian Ocean. Indian Navy has been keeping a watchful eye on China's activities through its strategic bases in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and across the Indian Ocean. Now, DRDO and the Navy have tested the newest drum cart. This is India's all-new ship killer missile, seen here being test fired from a Sea King helicopter. Soon, this compact Indian weapon will become a nightmare for Chinese warships snooping in India's backyard. So, how does the Naval Anti-Ship Missile or NASM give India the edge? How is it different from the mighty Brahmos? And how the Navy and DRDO are developing a big brother of this anti-ship NASM missile with a range of 500 kilometers, will it be even better than the Brahmos? The NASM is India's first indigenously developed anti-ship missile capable of being fired from attack helicopters. The missile boasts a range of 55 kilometers at 0.8 mark and can sink small destroyers or offshore patrol vessels. It can even cripple larger cruisers with precision strikes at critical areas like fuel or weapon storage. Now, while the missile itself has a range of 55 kilometers, the Seeking helicopters have an operational range of nearly 1200 kilometers or 600 kilometers one way, which puts enemy warships within a 650 kilometer range within its crosshairs. The Seeking, however, is in its last leg of service, which will pave the way for the missile's integration with the newly acquired upgraded MH-60R helicopters from the United States. In 2020, India signed a 14,000 crore rupee deal with the US for 24 MH-60R choppers to enhance Indian Navy's anti-submarine and anti-ship warfare. They can also fire Hellfire missiles and NK-54 torpedoes and can be operated from frigates, destroyers or even aircraft carriers. So how is the new NASM missile different from the mighty Brahmos? Brahmos is a giant, a deadly supersonic ship killer missile. It is 8 meters in length and weighs 2 to 3 tons. This means it can be launched from land, from warships or from specific aircraft. It has been successfully integrated with the IAF's Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter jets. In comparison, the NASM is lighter, shorter and more nimble. While it lacks the sheer punch of the Brahmos, it gives the Indian Navy multiple options to target enemy warships. Brahmos has a greater range in itself at around 350 km. An upgraded Brahmos with 500 km range has been test-fired, positioning itself as a formidable option against Chinese counterparts like the hypersonic YJ-21. India is also working on Brahmos 2, which may boast a target range up to 1500 kilometers, making it the undisputed deadliest supersonic cruise missile in the world. Indian missile tech has come a long way. Brahmos is already in high demand, especially in Southeast Asia, given Chinese Navy threat. Philippines has bought the Indian Brahmos for coastal defense, while Vietnam and Indonesia are also in talks with India for this missile. Meanwhile, Armenia has bought Indian Pinaka rockets, anti-drone system and howitzers and is seeking more Indian arsenal. India will also soon have its own dedicated rocket force, including Brahmos, the quasi-ballistic Pralai tactical missile and nearby cruise missiles. Indian armed forces also possess formidable ballistic nuclear missiles including the Agni series. India's missile capabilities transcend earthly bounds with successful tests of anti-satellite missiles designed to neutralize enemy satellites in low Earth orbit. The latest NASM test is another step in India's long march towards missile tech dominance in South Asia. Leave a comment below to have your say and if you like this news report then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.